Happy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing some Lazy Girl Poly Gel Nails. I feel like it's been a while since I've done that on my channel and so I just want to hop back in really quick with the video and do a quick set. I've been dying to do some cherry themed nails so that's what I'm going to go in with. Um, I do have some poly gels that I want to use from Double Dip slash Bellavina and so I have this red glitter poly gel in 111 and then this beautiful nude poly gel in number 35 this is like my absolute favorite nude poly gel right now um i absolutely love how this looks against my skin tone i actually reached out to double dip to see if they sold this separately and unfortunately they don't it's only available in the poly gel kit but i really like this nude a lot so i'm going to be using this um and i'm also going to go in with my bella Vina double dip uh, base coat and top coats and I have some red bling here that I think I want to try to put to use along with these beautiful cherries here. This, these are the cherries that I want to try to incorporate into this set. So I'll be using those as well along with some of these really pretty chunky glitters. So I think this is everything I'm going to be using for this set. It's going to be a quick and easy set, nothing too complicated. So let's get into this look. So I do already have my full cover tips um, sized and ready to go. And I think what I want to do is on the on the index and the pinky finger, I'm going to go in with this beautiful red glitter. And then the two middle um, fingers are going to be, I'm sorry, the middle and the ring finger are going to have this beautiful nude. And then, um, yeah, we're going to play around with some charms and rhinestones today, y'all. So let me hop into this. Um, for the lazy girl method, it's really easy and really simple. Um, oh, I need to prep my chunky glitters as well. So this came sealed, so I need to kind of break the seal on here. I was gonna try to take the whole thing off, but I feel like it's gonna get a little bit too messy. So I'm just gonna break the seal right here, like so, just so I can reach in and grab what I need, cause yeah, otherwise it's gonna get too messy for me. Okay, so I have my glitters all out here. And so now I'm gonna go in with some base coat cause that's what I'm gonna use to adhere them into the full cover tip here, okay? Lazy Girl Method has kind of become my favorite way to work with poly gel, especially if you need a quick set that's done easy, fast, in a hurry. So I'm gonna go through and just apply my base coat to the entire nail here, okay? And then from there, I'm just gonna take just a couple of these uh, chunkier glitters and just apply it to the inside of the nail. Like so. So that looks good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and cure this in my lamp for 60 seconds. And while that's curing, I am going to go ahead and apply base coat to the middle and ring finger so that when I get ready to apply my poly gel, I'm all ready to go. And I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. Now my first nail is all done curing. Next I'm going to go in with this poly gel, like I said, in the color 111. And I'm just gonna apply just a little bit of that to the inside of this nail. When you all are doing the lazy girl method with poly gel, a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just gonna do maybe like half of the nail, like here. And this should be enough to cover the, the whole entire side of the nail. And so I do have my poly gel brush here. I'm gonna open up both sides here. And then what you'll wanna do is just spread it down the entire length of the nail, okay? So I'm gonna show you all how to do that. You just want to kind of pat it into place where you want it to be, making sure you really get it on the side walls as well. Okay, and if your poly gel starts to get a little bit sticky, you just go ahead and grab some more alcohol and finish spreading it out. I will say this red right here is a little bit on the runnier side for the double dip poly gels. Um, typically they're of a stiffer consistency. I did notice that with um, another color from the kit too, I think it might have been that green color where it was a little bit of a, a looser consistency, but um, that is all right because it spread out just fine. So this is perfect. That is That was just enough poly gel to get it to cover the, the length of the nail. Okay, 
And so again, I'm just kind of moving it around and making sure that the full tip is covered. And yeah, what I love about the Lazy Girl method, y'all, it's quick and easy. So this nail is technically done. Okay, and so let's see if I can move this out the way here. This is how it's gonna look when it's on the nail. But how quick and easy is that, you know? So when you wanna apply it using the Lazy Girl method, apply it at the cuticle and the key is to apply light pressure. You So you would just kinda gently press down. Light pressure, light pressure, light pressure, light pressure. And then anything that spills out on the side. So underneath here, some has spilled out. So I found, let me move this out the way because it's getting me out of focus here. I found that it's easier when some spills out underneath the nail to take the opposite end of the spatula and just kind of scoop it out like so. And then the nail is still covered on this side. So let's do that again. I want to spread it out, but not have it be too thin. So I actually think that made it a bit too thin. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, this poly gel is a lot looser than of a consistency than I'm used to, like I said, from the Bella Vina Double Dip Poly Gel. So it's a bit sticky, y'all. <laughs> it's a little bit on the sticky side, but that's okay. We're going we gonna to make it work. We're going to make it work, okay? So that's that, and then you'll also want to take your brush again, and then go ahead and smooth out the um, like the side walls of the nail, removing any excess product that may have spilled out. And over here, honestly, since I see that there's a little bit of a gap, I'm just going to put that extra product right over here to kind of fill it in a little bit. This is completely optional. I'm just kind of playing around here. And I think this looks pretty good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and cure that in place for 60 seconds. And this is what the nail looks like after it's been cured in place. It's looking pretty good so far. I'm not mad at it. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next nail. And y'all, it is getting sticky already, so I need my paper towels. <laughs> and I need to like spray this hand down because I can't even touch anything right now without it feeling super icky and sticky. So I'm just trying to wipe this off really quick. That's the one thing about poly gel, y'all. It's it is sticky, okay? It gets everywhere. And next, I'm gonna go in with my pinky finger and apply the base coat to it, okay? And so I'm gonna do those same red dots on the hand for the pinky finger. Alright. So again, we're just gonna do a nice thin layer of base coat on the inside of the tip first. Then we're gonna take our chunky glitters here. And I'm just gonna tap into the um, wet base coat and then just apply the chunky glitters to the inside of the tip. I like how that looks. I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds. This is what it looks like after it's been cured. Again, I'm gonna do the same process where I'm just gonna take a little bit of the poly gel and just apply it to the inside of the tip. This was probably way too much poly gel, but we'll see here. I think it might be enough, but I think it's a little bit on the too much side here, but we'll see. So you'll take your brush, drain a little bit of the alcohol out, and then just smooth the poly gel down. Essentially what I'm gonna do is just pull it down, and I'm just gonna pull it into place. And yeah, again, what I love about this Lazy Girl method is that a little bit goes a long way. Um, so yeah, you really don't need much and it's quick and easy to do. So you want to make sure too that you get side wall to side wall and then fill in that cuticle area. And this nail looks like it's already done. So that's perfect here. Just going to get a little bit more here on that side wall. Yep. And that's ready to go. So now I'm going to just pop this off of the tip like so. And that's what it's looking like. Okay. And then I'm gonna just apply it to the pinky nail. And again, just light pressure, light pressure, light pressure. Flip it over. It actually looks good on that side. So I'm gonna just clean up the cuticle area here. Like so. Oops. Yeah, because this poly gel is kind of looser, it, it kind of moves a little bit more than I would like it to. I'm gonna go ahead and get it in place here. Okay. Underside still looks good. I'm just going to smooth it out just a smidge, like so. Okay, come back over, 
front still looks good. I think I'm gonna just try to clean the cuticle area up one more time, like so. And yeah, that looks good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. Okay, so this is what the pinky nail is looking like. And then I did go ahead and do the thumbnail off camera. The thumb did get get pretty messy for me. Um, I think I was able to smooth the underside of it out enough, but I'm gonna have to go in with my drill and kind of fix up this area here. But next I'm gonna go in with the um, middle and ring finger and I'm just gonna apply this gorgeous nude. And this is about how much poly gel I'm gonna be using for this. And that's about it. And this should cover the entire length of the nail. And if it doesn't, then I'll need to go back to the drawing board, okay? So then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of alcohol on my brush, dab a little bit out, and smooth this down the entire back side of the nail. So yeah, you see how the consistency on this is way different than the red that I just worked with? This is this is the consistency of poly gel that I'm used to working with from Bellavina double dip. It's nice, it's stiff, and you can really have full control of what you're doing with it. So, yeah, this nail is going to be a lot easier to use. I don't think I actually used enough poly gel, surprisingly enough. So, I'm going to go in with just a smidge more here at the cuticle, not too much, just a little, like that much. Let's smooth that on out. See, yeah, that made a big difference. A huge difference, actually. <laughs> so, yeah. Consistency for poly gels definitely matter, okay? So, I'm gonna have an air bubble. What in the world? No, I'm having a rough day with Lazy Girl today. Yeah, and then you get that nice and smooth. It's ready to go, pop it off. Yeah, that's perfect. Now, what you'll do is the same thing that I did for the other nails. You'll just apply it at the cuticle, okay? And then just apply light pressure, light pressure, light pressure right and then I'll turn it around the underside actually looks pretty good to me so I'm gonna leave that be and then I'm just gonna take my time and just kind of clean up the cuticle area here with a little bit of alcohol and once that's done I am going to cure it in my light yeah that's perfect that's perfect here, so I'm going to go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. That's what this looks like after it's been cured for 60 seconds, and I'm literally going to just repeat that exact same process on my middle finger. All right, so this is what all the nails are looking like after they've been applied. I am loving how this is looking so far, y'all. So first what I'm gonna do is go in with my uh, Bella Vina Double Dip Top Coat, and I'm actually gonna apply that to the underside of all the nails. I noticed that with poly gel, especially doing the Lazy Girl method, that when you um, try to just wipe, that, wipe the underneath of the nail with alcohol, that it still tends to be a little bit sticky. I still ran into an issue of um, like having a lot of weird debris and, and dirt and such kind of get caught on to the poly gel even though I had wiped it with alcohol. So I actually like to just top coat it just to seal it in. And so that's what I'm going to do to all of the nails here. So now I'm going to go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. Okay, so that's all been cured. Now I'm going to go in with some alcohol and spray these nails down to remove the sticky layer from the nails. And once the sticky layer is removed, then I'll be able to go in and file, shape, and buff the nails. So let me just do that really quick. And I am going to do this twice just to ensure that I get everything off of the surface of the nail. So I'm going to spray it down one more time. Okay. And I like to get my hands nice, soaked, and drenched because I do not want to mess up my e-file, okay? <laughs> I'm going to go in and just crisping up my edges here with my file. I am using my Young Nails file. This actually is my favorite file to use when it comes to filing, shaping, anything regarding my nails. So I'm just going to go through and just crisping up the free edge here, like so. I'm going to do that on all the nails, really just removing that little tab, okay? Y'all, these files don't take much to get a nice crisp edge. I'm gonna go on the side walls here, crisping up that edge. The nice thing about the Lazy Girl method is there's not really a lot of filing and shaping involved here, which is why I love it so much because I am lazy when it comes to filing and shaping, okay?
All right, you guys, so this is what it's looking like after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. I'm gonna go in with my brush here and just remove all that dust. I'm gonna go in and spray down with alcohol one more time. Now I'm gonna go and apply top coat to all of the red nails. And then for these two fingers, I want to apply some bling. So we'll do that here shortly. The stickiness is over. So I'm gonna bring my um, beautiful little bling out, my little Nelphi diamond here and apply my top coat to all the nails. Okay. Wow. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love, I love, love, love the glitters from uh, Bella Vina Double Dip. They're just, those glitter poly gels are just absolutely stunning. So yeah, I'm gonna apply that to all of the fingers that have red. Okay. And as I'm applying the top coat really quick, I just wanna remind you guys that Double Dip is currently hosting a contest, um, a celebrity nail contest where you all have the opportunity to win up to ten thousand dollars in prizes and so yeah y'all they're giving away all type of stuff macbook pros macbook airs um, iphones things like that so if you all want details on how to enter that contest i am going to leave it linked down in the description box below and then also you guys they featured me on their website for that contest and I'm just really honored and really blessed. So I want to send another special thank you to Double Dip for um, featuring me on their website um, for this contest. I, like I said, I feel truly blessed about it. And so, yeah, if you all want to get more details about the contest as far as dates and Chris are concerned, as well as see me on the website, um, I am going to leave the link for you link down in the description box below. This is how the nails are looking. I'm going to go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. This is what the glitter nails are looking like. With that top coat y'all this stuff is stunning okay now i'm gonna go ahead and add cherries in these are the cherries i want to add on to the nail here oops i originally wanted to um do two cherries on each nail but um i didn't make the nails long enough for that unfortunately so i'm just gonna go with one cherry in the middle of the nail and then i'm gonna apply this bling um, all over and I got that bling from this case right here. I am going to go in with the Born Pretty nail glue to adhere everything. I've really been liking this a lot um, lately and so I'm just wanting to kind of try it out in different ways. And so I am going to apply that to the entire nail here. I like the thick consistency of this. So yeah, I'm just going to do one thin strip of it right down the middle of the nail. Well, actually that's pretty much the whole nail now, isn't it? <laughs> And then I'm gonna just place my cherry right here in the middle here, like so. And that's kind of what I like about it. It doesn't really move too much. And so from there, I'm gonna take my rhinestone picker here and just go ahead and place the rhinestones kind of in like a kind of like a swirl almost. Yeah, I think I like this nail glue a lot because it really it doesn't move too much. It's of a stiffer consistency, and so where you place the the rhinestones, they kind of stay in place. I like how thick it is. So this is how the middle nail is looking so far. I was going to repeat the same thing on this finger, but I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and do red rhinestones all over this nail. And I actually wish I had a, did this over here and then did the full rhinestone nail over here, but that's okay. I'm going to work with what we got. And so I am going to go ahead and hear these rhinestones with just regular top coat. So I'm going to take this top coat from Double Dip Bellavina and apply it to the full nail here. really love this new color it's so beautiful and then I'm just gonna apply these rhinestones kind of all over the nail kind of making it like a blinged out nail y'all already know me and my blingtivity okay it got to be here yeah I like how that turned out I really like that a lot so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that this is what she's looking like all right, and so the last thing I'm gonna do is just go in with some top coat. I am gonna just go in with the Bellavina Double Dip Top Coat, and I'm just gonna apply that around all of the rhinestones so that they can get sealed in.
Y'all, we let me go ahead and throw some cuticle oil on these hands and we gonna get into the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, okay, so I'm loving how she turned out. Baby, these cherry nails are giving. They looking nice and juicy, okay? What y'all think about my Manny? I am loving it. There are a few things I wish I had to do differently with this set though, I will be honest. I do wish this finger had been on my ring finger and this finger had been my middle finger. And then also, I just feel like my rhinestone placement with my cherry nail, um, do you see how these are kind of close together and it's kind of like a smaller swirl? I kind of wish I had to did that at the bottom. I did use these poly gels from uh, Double Dip. Um, I did want to let you all know too, they are currently having a 40% off sale on all of their poly gel kits. That is a ridiculously good deal because their kits come with a lot of products. And so I do have a special discount code. It is ROSA40. I am going to leave that here on the screen as well as down in the description box. I do have a special link for that. So if y'all want to save some money on some really awesome poly gels I do highly recommend these um this poly gel came from their classic poly gel kit and this one I believe came from the dazzling collection so yeah y'all highly recommend these so right now they're on sale so if y'all have been wanting to try them out now is the time to do so so yeah y'all I am feeling my Manny so much she's so cute she giving everything she's supposed to give y'all so yes I hope y'all enjoyed the video um later this week for my th nail therapy Thursday premiere I do plan on sculpting my nail with poly gels so definitely stay tuned for that um so on this hand i did the lazy girl method over here i want to actually sculpt it i told y'all i want to get practice more with following and shaping my nails but yeah y'all i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday thursdays in particular are my nail therapy thursday premieres where i tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and yeah if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys Leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!